Good morning and welcome to the farm. So I wanted to show you something interesting this morning. Probably something a lot of you have never seen before. So here's the mower that I bought and this thing did not have a PTO shaft or power takeoff shaft on it. So I had to go and buy one. And this shaft transmits power from the tractor to the mower in this gearbox through a splined fitting that goes on there like that. And so this morning, I have to put put that U-joint onto this one. It came with a smooth one, because all the newer stuff has a, a pin through here, and it uh, that's how it transmits power. But that one is smooth, and I need a splined one for this mower. So I'll show you how I'm going to change this. Um, I already have the pin on the one side off and I'll take it off on the other one <clears throat> so I'll show you how that's done so here I have one of the snap rings removed <clears throat> and I was going to show you how I did it but it turns out I made another poor choice and bought a really cheap snap ring pliers this thing is a real piece of junk and I'd like to hurl it but I'll probably take it back to uh, the place I got it and uh, beg them to get better tools. A little note here, something I've learned the hard way. Usually cheap tools are just that, they're very cheap. And from the moment you open the excessive packaging and try to extract them from all the plastic um, to the moment that you finally give up on them and get rid of them, they are nothing but a frustration. They usually hurt you and they'll always let you down. So definitely buy tools that are quality and that are gonna work well. Turns out I have better luck just using this, also a cheap tool, but this works better than the tool that was made for the purpose. So I've got this ring out and I need to take that one out and then we should be able to pull that U-joint apart. So now I've got a piece of pipe here. I change this out so now this uh, bushing will be able to go up inside there ideally this would be done with a press but this is what I have to work with Okay, so I've bottomed out on this side, so now I'm going to have to see if I can get this little uh, pushing off over there. Loosen this. This thing is fairly new. If it were old and rusty, I don't know if this would work. <clears throat> Okay, just wait. <clears throat> so after much back and forth, I finally managed to get this part out. Um, to squeeze this one out far enough that this will clear that. And then I, you have, I had to squeeze the other side out as well so that, <clears throat> so that this thing would clear that. So now this piece can come off because it's disconnected from the, from that T shaped piece. this very tight clearances here which is appropriate these things 
have to do a lot of work. My now, unfortunately, My this thing dropped. And I lost some needle bearings in there. So I'm going to have to put those back in very carefully. And that's a big problem. But I'll manage. Well, it's been a long, hot day here in the desert. And my U-joint change uh, was relatively difficult. Um, a lot of problems. Basically, I had to go... Just pinch my finger. I had to go buy a new T and uh so i had new bushings because i lost one of the little needle valve or uh needle bearings in there so i had to go buy new ones because i think i lost it in some grease or in the dirt or something <clears throat> definitely this is a how not to video not a how to video but i did get it pressed back together i just used the clamp on both sides um and in the process i got a proper tool for removing the snap rings I had a cheap one before and it did not do anything at all so I got a, a proper one this one actually worked really well for removing those that's the way to go so now I just have to put the other two rings in there and my change out of the the uh, shaft adapter should be finished so be very very careful if you ever consider doing this yourself saving Miller out